Lake Erie is a North American treasure, a gem among the Great Lakes. This vast freshwater lake is a haven for wildlife, providing a rich habitat for countless species of birds, fish, and plants. It provides drinking water for millions of people, supporting communities and industries alike. However, Lake Erie is under threat from various sources, including pollution and climate change. Silent invaders have arrived, upsetting the natural balance. These are invasive species which pose a significant threat to the lake's ecosystem. Invasive species are plants or animals that are not native to an area and can cause serious harm. They can cause harm to the environment, the economy, or human health, often leading to damaged ecosystems and economic losses. These invaders arrive in many ways, often unintentionally. One of the most common methods is through ballast water from ships. Ships take on water for stability during their voyages. This water may contain aquatic species from different regions. When the water is discharged in a new location, these species can become invasive, thriving in the new environment. The impact of invasive species on Lake Erie is profound and far-reaching. They disrupt the food web, compete with native species for resources, and alter habitats, leading to a cascade of ecological consequences. This essay will explore some of the most impactful invaders and the efforts to control them, highlighting the ongoing battle to protect Lake Erie. We must understand these threats to protect this vital ecosystem for future generations. The round goby is a small but aggressive fish, known for its tenacity and adaptability in various environments. It arrived in the Great Lakes in the 1990s, likely as an uninvited guest. They likely entered through ballast water from ships originating in the Black and Caspian Sea regions, hitching a ride across the ocean. The round goby has a mixed impact on Lake Erie, influencing both the ecosystem and the local fish populations. On the positive side, round gobies eat zebra mussels, which are another invasive species. Zebra mussels clog pipes and harm native mussels, causing significant ecological and economic damage. Round gobies are also a food source for larger fish, providing a new prey item for species like bass and walleye. This has helped some native fish populations to recover, as they have adapted to include gobies in their diet. However, round gobies also compete with native fish for food and spawning habitat, often outcompeting them. They are voracious eaters and can outcompete native species, leading to a decline in native fish populations. They also prey on the eggs and young of native fish, further threatening their populations and disrupting the natural balance. Scientists and resource managers are working tirelessly to control the spread of round gobies and mitigate their impact. They are also studying their impact on the ecosystem, trying to understand the full extent of their influence. Understanding their role is crucial for managing the health of Lake Erie and ensuring a balanced ecosystem for future generations. Zebra mussels are small striped shellfish. They arrived in the Great Lakes in the 1980s likely in ballast water from ships originating in the Black Sea region. They have had a devastating impact on Lake Erie. Zebra mussels are filter feeders, straining microscopic plants and animals from the water. This reduces the food available for native species. Their filtering also increases water clarity, which may seem beneficial but can lead to harmful algal blooms. These mussels reproduce rapidly and attach to any hard surface in massive numbers. They clog water intake pipes, costing millions of dollars in maintenance. They also attach to native mussels, suffocating them. Efforts to control zebra mussels include chemical treatments, physical removal, and biological controls. However, their small size, rapid reproduction, and ability to survive out of water for extended periods make them extremely difficult to eradicate. The sea lamprey is an ancient, jawless fish with a terrifying feeding strategy. It attaches to other fish with its sucker-like mouth sharp teeth rasp through scales. Then the sea lamprey feeds on the blood and fluids of its host. Sea lampreys invaded the Great Lakes in the early 20th century. They decimated populations of native fish like lake trout. These fish were important for commercial and recreational fishing. Their decline had a significant economic impact. To control sea lampreys, scientists developed lamprecides, chemicals that target lamprey larvae. These chemicals are applied to streams where lampreys spawn. Other methods include barriers to prevent their movement and trapping adult lampreys. While these control efforts have been successful in reducing sea lamprey populations, constant vigilance is required. Ongoing research focuses on developing more effective and environmentally friendly control methods. Section 5 Quagga Mussels, a growing threat. 
Quagga mussels are another invasive mussel species. Like their relatives, the zebra mussels, they arrived in ballast water. They originated from the Ponto Caspian region. Quagga mussels pose a significant threat to Lake Erie. Quagga mussels can tolerate deeper, colder water than zebra mussels. This allows them to colonize a wider range of habitats. They compete with zebra mussels and native species for food and space. Their impacts are similar to zebra mussels, including clogging pipes, disrupting the food web, and promoting harmful algal blooms. They are also very difficult to control once established. Efforts to manage quagga mussels include monitoring their spread, researching control methods, and preventing their introduction into new areas. Public awareness and cooperation are crucial for preventing their spread. Section 6, Phragmites Choking the Life Out of Wetlands Invasive species aren't just restricted to the waters of Lake Erie. Phragmites, also known as the common reed, is an invasive plant. It forms dense stands that choke out native vegetation. Phragmites alter wetland habitats, reducing biodiversity and degrading water quality. They outcompete native plants for resources. This reduces habitat for wildlife that rely on these plants for food and shelter. Controlling phragmites is challenging and requires a multifaceted approach. Methods include mechanical removal such as cutting or burning and herbicide application. However, these methods can be expensive and time-consuming. Preventing the spread of phragmites is crucial. This includes educating the public about the plant and promoting responsible disposal of yard waste, as phragmites can spread through seeds and fragments. Section 7. Asian Carp, a looming danger. Asian carp are a group of large, fast-growing fish. They were introduced to the United States for aquaculture but escaped and are now spreading through the Mississippi River Basin. While Asian carp have not yet established populations in the Great Lakes, their presence in nearby waterways poses a significant threat. They are voracious eaters, consuming vast quantities of plankton. This disrupts the food web, harming native fish populations. To prevent Asian carp from entering the Great Lakes, various measures have been implemented. These include physical barriers, electric fences, and monitoring programs. Research is ongoing to develop new and effective control methods. Public awareness is critical in preventing the accidental introduction of Asian carp. Boaters and anglers must be vigilant in cleaning their equipment and disposing of bait properly. Section 8, Rusty Crayfish, Disrupting the Balance. The rusty crayfish is native to the Ohio River Basin. However, it has spread to many other areas, including the Great Lakes. This is likely due to human activities such as the release of bait buckets. Rusty crayfish are larger and more aggressive than most native crayfish species. They outcompete native crayfish for food and shelter. They also consume large amounts of aquatic plants, disrupting the ecosystem. Efforts to control rusty crayfish include trapping, public education, and regulations on their possession and transport. However, their widespread distribution and ability to survive in various habitats make eradication difficult. Preventing the further spread of rusty crayfish requires public cooperation. Anglers should use native bait fish and never release crayfish into new water bodies. Responsible disposal of unwanted pets is also essential. Section 9. Conclusion. Safeguarding Lake Erie's Future. Lake Erie, like many aquatic ecosystems worldwide, faces significant challenges from invasive species. These species, often introduced by human activity, can spread rapidly and outcompete native species for resources. These invaders disrupt the delicate balance of the lake's ecosystem, impacting biodiversity, water quality, and the livelihoods of those who depend on it. The consequences can be far-reaching, affecting not just the local environment but also the economy and recreational activities. The fight against invasive species is a continuous one. It requires constant vigilance and effort from scientists, environmentalists, and the community. It requires a multifaceted approach, including prevention, early detection, rapid response, and ongoing management. Each of these steps is crucial in mitigating the impact of invasive species and preserving the lake's natural state. Scientific research plays a vital role in understanding these invaders and developing effective control methods. Through detailed studies and innovative techniques, researchers can devise strategies to combat these threats. Public awareness and engagement are crucial in this fight. Educating the community about the dangers of invasive species and how they can help is essential for long-term success. By understanding the impacts of invasive species and taking responsible actions, 
we can all contribute to protecting the health and beauty of Lake Erie for generations to come. Every small action counts, from cleaning up the shoreline to supporting conservation efforts. Only through collaborative efforts can we ensure that this great lake remains a vibrant ecosystem, a source of clean water, and a place of wonder for years to come. Together, we can make a difference and safeguard Lake Erie's future.